Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here taking a look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia S. Why don't you guys come on in and take a closer look. We've got a tasty Android lollipop here to uh, accompany our video. All right, so let's take a, first let's talk about the specs of this guy. You've got a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm built Snapdragon chip. You can guess the amount of RAM, one gigabyte, 4.3 inch HD screen, 12.1 megapixel sensor on the back, and that is an Exmor sensor with an LED flash right below it. And this is all for memory, by the way, so I expect some credit for that. See those buttons? That's actually see-through. So you can hopefully see my hand in there. It's kind of neat. That see-through part isn't actually the buttons or the capacitive little dots up top. Kind of cool though, that see-through strip is actually part of the antenna. So it's probably not gonna pick up on camera, but you can see the little gray dots inside of there that's part of the antenna system. On the left-hand side, well, you can guess what that is. That's where you go to right and do your charging. That's your micro USB and syncing port. On the right-hand side, HDMI out, also under a little door, volume up and down. And Sony's been including dedicated camera button, which is quite nice. But let's go ahead and check out what version of Android this guy is running. It's some version of Gingerbread and is running 2.3.7. You can see that as you use the phone, those actually light up uh, in the clear area, which is kind of neat to see. So this camera has a very quick uh, shutter lag, uh, taking advantage of the uh, Exmor systems. Let's go ahead and use a dedicated button and show what that looks like. Quick focus. And shoot, now you got a picture of that guy's back. Let's go ahead uh, and go home. And of course, that's gonna shoot a full 1080p video here uh, as well. So uh, in typical sort of Sony fashion with their Android skin, we go ahead and pinch that. It's no longer called Mediascape or Timescape, it's just a skin. Uh, on top of Android. Go ahead and see all of your widgets that you've got right here and you can pick the one you want. So Google search. Go ahead and do your Google search. Um, so let's see what some images and videos look like on this display. I happen to notice there's a video right there. Let's go ahead and click that. And let's see, we'll jump into the gallery and take a look at what things look like. And this is running, there's a picture we just took. Uh, this is the Sony Bravia engine on here. So you're gonna get darker darts uh, and richer colors. So pinch to zoom is obviously there. Um, so the buttons we've got here on the bottom, you only have three buttons here as opposed to some of the four that we've seen on other Sony devices, uh, like the Ion, for example. You've got your back, I'll light them up for you. You've got your, light them up. You've got your back, home, and menu button for doing all of your navigation. Uh, it's a pretty thin device, and on the side, you can really see that uh, cool, clear strip right there. So no carrier information to report uh, right now, but stay tuned for news. Um, it is obviously a GSM uh, unlock device and will be coming uh, sometime soon from the folks at Sony. So I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to continue to check us out for all of your CES 2012 and tech news. This has been a first look and hands-on uh, with the Xperia S. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Sync Services brings a wealth of information to your car with simple voice commands. Sync will help you figure out the best route to take by giving you up-to-date traffic reports along the way. Sync Services will use your GPS location and let you know if it's time to look for an alternate route. And with its 14 million different business listings, Sync could find you a different business altogether. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.